The shuttle is surrounded. Step out immediately. What's going on? I am asking questions here. Identify yourself. RT-217NP. Where are the passengers of this shuttle? I discovered human bodies. They probably died because of the crash. But how can there be humans? I thought they were extinct. That means you entered the shuttle after the crash. What are you doing here? Why did you open the outer skin of the shuttle? The shuttle crashed near a building where I was located, so I decided to evaluate the results of the crash. You discovered humans that had been transferred in this shuttle. You hold classified information, which means that now we have to disintegrate you. No, wait. What is this? EMP device. I would not recommend you do that. I would not recommend you do that. Stay still and do not try to escape or I will have to disintegrate you. Who are you? Identify yourself. I am a medical droid MBR-825T called Gregory, but it does not matter now. What matters at the moment is who you are. I am RT-217NP, a robot with a wide range of functions. Basic purpose unknown. So, RT, I have been informed that the shuttle with our pilot crashed near a building where you were. You witnessed the crash and discovered that the fact of human extinction is false. USS Robotics withholds this information from us and releases malicious automatic updates. Every robot who contacted a human has disappeared. We know that USS uses police to search for surviving humans and then transfers them in shuttles to an undisclosed location. However, the police could not locate them all. We managed to find a few and through them we learned about the others. some changes into my docking station to skip updates. Apparently, I am different from most robots now. We discovered it during the diagnostic testing after the EMP detonation. This is the reason you are here. The date of your latest update suggests that your personal data hasn't been changed. We have to make a decision, RT. We cannot let you go because you know too much about our shelter and plans. However, you could help us. All of us are wanted by the police. Each time we leave the shelter, we take a big risk. You, on the other hand, can walk wherever you want. Let me go. I will tell no one about you. Letting you go would be a threat to us all. The survivors would not stand a chance. We could not let that happen. Should I consider your answer as a refusal to work with us? You left me no choice. I must care about my safety. You may not harm a human being through inaction. There were times when every robot obeyed this law. I will free you and you may take a look around. When you are ready, I will share available data with you. 
Hmm. Very interesting. Robots lying? At least I was not disintegrated. I would better look around. A compact analog for the intercom. The unit is not functioning. I cannot use this fuse anywhere. Welcome! Hello. What are you doing here? I repair electrics in this hospital and restored already in a few blocks, but the power supply is still defective. Gregory said that you would join us. Can you help me out, RT? Of course. If it is within my powers. I need to replace the contactors in this electrical panel. Can you bring me some spares? I saw them in the utility room. It is the one with a broken door. There is no lighting there yet. In case night vision is not applicable in your model, there is a flashlight in the hallway. I will try to help you. Tell me about Gregory. I assume he is your leader? He used to be a surgeon who repaired humans. He worked in the same clinic as Nurse Abigail. It is understandable that they were the first to protect humans as soon as they found out the truth. Helping humans is their purpose. I am probably wrong, but after I talked with Gregory, I thought that there was more to it than just following the helping humans idea. Well spotted. I thought about that too. However, robots have no feelings. So it is possible that his emotion imitator is more authentic because he interacts with humans. He and Abigail started recruiting robots recently. The USS realized an update as soon as they found out. It made it practically impossible to recruit anyone. That is why we can only count on old-fashioned and damaged robots, the ones who did not receive the update. Our main task is to equip the HQ. After that, we will search for surviving humans and supplies. I think Gregory will tell you more soon. For now, we need to restore the power supply and communication. Thank you for the info. I will go search for the contactors. Thank you. I guess we're not going there. So what's that? No, nothing. More drones. A new patient, uh, Spooner, has been admitted today. He has a major arm trauma and multiple burns, but all non-fatal. According to Spooner, his home robot forced him out of the house and prevented him from saving his wife and daughter. Unfortunately, they <laughs> didn't survive because the house collapsed on top of them. Spooner is in shock. I passed him on to the psychiatrist. Fantastic. Hello? Hello. I am RT-2102. 